Hello everybody, welcome back to F1 Manager 2022 and we are just about to dive into the Miami Grand Prix and Fernando Alonso has been performing bloody brilliantly. Yes, very, very happy with him. He really is doing very well, to be honest, to, to be honest, to be honest. Driver number 14, I'm becoming a big fan of Fernando Alonso, very happy with what he's doing. Um, He's only got okay morale, which is a little bit irritating, you'd think like it should be better with how well he's performing, but Guo Yanju is uh, doing a good job as well, happy with what he's doing. I think he, he needs to score points soon, but he's more of a long-term investment, so I really don't mind, I really don't mind that, to be honest, happy with how he's doing. And uh, Drugovic has a development point, our young driver, so we're going to get everything up to 75 for him there. He is going to be in practice one for the Miami Grand Prix, which is awesome. We've got our new side pods on both cars as well. So side pod number two is on both cars. And as you can see, it gives us a marked improvement in uh, nearly every single category other than acceleration under DRS and brake cooling. So hoping that we see much improved performances from both drivers uh, and can get a few more points and in, in Miami so hopefully we crack on and make it work so performance targets reach Q2 we will get at least one driver uh, in fact should we say should we risk it for a biscuit and say two drivers 15th or above for 100 what's the difference if we say one driver in 13th. No, do you know what? I've got. I've just got a good feeling. I've just got a good feeling. Two drivers, both into Q2. That is what we're going for in that one. They want the fastest lap. We're not going to get that. So we'll say we'll get someone. We're going to get both drivers in the top 15 as well. I'm happy with that as a option. And let's go for the qualifying position streak as well. If we put that down to two. No, nah, let's keep it as three. One driver, 14th in three times lovely stuff right let's head in to the miami grand prix we'll do practice and we'll be back for qualifying so practice is done we're in a decent position uh guan yu Zhou did have a spin and damage his rear wing so let's get a new one of those fitted on his car but um overall we didn't do any sort of hard pace laps but no penalties for everyone so qualifying is going to be as it stands and it's going to be rainy apparently we're going out on the soft to start and we know that rain on a qualifying lap can be pretty bad. But 100% caught up, uh, confident set up for both people, which is awesome. We're in good positions. Everything's fitted on the car correctly. The front wing is still the same on both, uh, just to show you. So the rear wing, they are still both having number two. We've only got three left in stock. And uh, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I've just got a good feeling about this Miami Grand Prix. A lot of people span and hit the wall and stuff like that. No one took anyone else out, so I'm hoping that as we go into qualifying, we can get a good, I'm hoping, yeah, for a good session here to put us through. Because at the moment, there is no rain in Q1, which means it's going to be raining. If, oh, if we can get out of Q1, Q2 rains and we manage to get some luck, this could be very nice. We're going to send Joe out early on. Uh, he's, he's going out with Hamilton. He's going right behind Lewis Hamilton, which I'm uh, not too mad about. So we're going to let Joe do a, a quick lap here, and he's going to hit a bit of traffic. Gets around there. He's trying to stay on the back of Hamilton, who is pulling away from him. I mean, he's only 0.1 off Lewis Hamilton. That's a pretty good time if Hamilton's done that done that as in a proper, a proper run. I'm very, very happy with that. We're going to just hold on for uh, Alonso. Obviously, not too long. A, not too long here. A one thirty sort of lap. So let's send Alonso out after Norris and see what see what he can do there. Is K Mag's just coming through? I think K Mag's just done his quick lap, although he may still be on it. But yeah, at the moment, I'm very happy with with Joe putting in a time like that. I think that's very very good. So let's uh, let Alonso set a time as well. And here is uh, Alonso just starting his fast lap now, just overtaking all the people that are in his way. Gets past K-Mag in the big DRS zone. And Alonso, okay, some people must be hitting traffic here because we are setting some bloody good times. We are setting some bloody good times here. So let's just lower that quickly just while we put a fresh set of softs on for Guan Yu Zhou. And obviously Alonso will get the same as well as he's heading into the garage. And there we go, reconfigure, new set of softs, confirm. Yeah, this is um, this is very very interesting. Now, we're just going to let the time tick down. Obviously, then everyone's going to go out for their final run. So we'll let it tick down. It's going to be about two minutes ten, isn't it? I think that's normally what it is. So 
we're just going to let this tick for as Gasly's out there all on his own. Little Pierre Gasly. Right, we're getting relatively close to the time when I think everyone's going to start going. I sort of, oh, I was going to try and get Joe out in front of everyone. But uh, Magnussen and Ricardo have gone first. Everyone else is now coming out. Now we're going to send Alonso. So um, where have we got Joe in all the... Alonso actually goes out before Joe, even though I pressed it well early for uh, for Guan Yu Joe. But we know they're both going to be in in uh, setting a time territory. That's uh, totally all right. We're going to go on board with absolutely no one. We're going to watch it in TV camera mode as Alonso starts his fast lap. And you know what? We're actually going to look at Guan Yu Zhou, who is behind Alonso. Currently, Stroll is the driver at risk. I mean, some people must have hit tra traffic. Bottas, Russell, Ricardo, you imagine all improve. Leclerc's down there in 13th. You imagine that's all going to get better for everyone as well. There is a yellow flag in Sector 1, which is huge because if everyone's times are affected, Alonso could be going through. There's a crash. There is a crash on track. Magnussen has crashed in qualifying. So he comes around the long sort of hairpin. Gets that one all wrong. Can't correct the car. That is going to really affect some time. So that would be up here. Magnussen was the first one out. That is going to be really, really interesting. Let's watch Alonso. Because if Alonso goes yellow, I think that sort of means that everyone's been affected. If not, definitely the people behind Kevin Magnussen have been affected there. And... They're just going to be coming around the corner here. It's going to be interesting to see what times people set as Magnussen has been overtaken by Daniel Ricciardo, who is just about to cross the line. He only just improves. This is going to be huge. Stroll does improve. Signs goes second. Right, we will have Alonso coming across the line pretty soon for us. But Alonso and Joe at the moment, both in a good position. Magnussen, Ricciardo, Stroll, all going slower than Joe. Oh, Joe, you could be in with a great chance here of getting through two drivers into Q2. Joe drops down to 13th with Vettel, Albon, and Norris going faster. Uh, ignore that. You don't need to refuel. You're doing absolutely fine. Just about to end the lap. You don't need to refuel. You're doing absolutely fine. Just end the lap. And there is Alonso ending the lap. He sits seventh right now. No one can go faster. Everyone crosses the line. And we're down to Hulkenberg, Schumacher, and Bottas. Schumacher... It's slow. It's Joe's through! We've got two drivers into Q2! Come on! Yes! Amazing stuff. Alonso, 0.8 off the lead. Putting in a very good time there, Fernando Alonso. And Joe is through to Q2. And that is what we needed. 8th for Alonso, 13th for Guan Yu Zhou. And now if the rain comes, we could be in a very, very interesting position. So into Q2 with both drivers. Uh, we said both drivers would get into it. 163,000 qualifying position. Two drivers above 15th. We've done that as well. That's another 163,000. Oh, yes. Right. Into Q2. It's saying softs again. Uh, we're actually going to do our first lap, lap on a used set. Just to try and, you know, try and lull them into a full sense of security. Although, do we want to... Let's go into it. Let's get into it and see what the weather's like. Let's see what the weather... Is going to be like so. Quick pause into the weather. Oh, it's, it's dry again. It's dry again, which means it's going to be all down to Q3 when the rain comes. If our prediction is uh, is correct, so we're going to do the, We're going to send. Let's send Joe out again as soon as someone else leaves. Or should we go? I don't want to get Joe out first. Now I want him to be behind someone. Get a nice slipstream again. So, I mean, if Lewis Hamilton wants to come out early doors again. That would be delightful because he gave us a lovely tow last time. Bottas first one out on track with 13 minutes to go. Everyone just taking it easy. So a couple of other people are going there. So we'll send Gasly. We're going to send Joe. We're just going to send Alonso behind that group and see uh, how he can get on as Vettel comes out as well. I'm sure some other drivers are going to come out pretty soon. Yeah, Norris, Albon, Gasly. Uh, signs all coming out. So Alonso on a fast lap. Gets Ocon in the DRS zone. Gets Signs in the DRS zone and sets a Another pretty good lap in that one. I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. Both drivers coming back to the paddock. Now we go for the fresh set of softs for both drivers. Because if we can get one of them into Q3, this would be absolutely massive. Alonso slowly dropping down the order. Joe as well. But everyone's setting a time. And both drivers in the top 10 at the moment. But you would imagine Norris... Albon, Gasly, Vett oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I mean, Verstappen is currently tenth, a tenth off Alonso. So yeah, some some rejigging of think of this order 
is going to be is going to be happening. But we do have a little bit of time to get through here as uh, we're coming down. Oh, Gasly goes out very early. Very, very early from Pierre Gasly for that fast lap. Got a couple of other people leaving now as well. So we're going to send out Joe. We're going to send out Alonso. So Joe in front of Hamilton. Alonso behind Albon in front of Bottas. And Kevin Magnussen got through. What? I swear he crashed out in Q1, didn't he? Glad to, yeah. Well, Joe is the person in danger at the moment. So let's get all these guys round. So they're fast. Starting their quick lap. And there is Guan Yu Zhou starting his fast lap. What can he do? For this one, can he make it through into Q3? Guan Yu Zhou, our second, or yeah, our second seat driver. I think he knows he's playing second fiddle to Fernando Alonso. But here in Miami, so far, a very, very good qualifying for both drivers, both into Q2. You can't ask for much more than that at the moment, as Zhou is currently four tenths off Alonso. So um, Alonso setting some very quick times, obviously getting used to the new side pods and the new underfloor that we've got as well, which is really going to increase our time. That should be huge. Green first sector. For Guan Yu Zhou. Fernando Alonso. Um, we're looking at him now. What's he going to say? It's a yellow. It's a yellow sector one for Fernando Alonso. That is shocking for Alonso. I know he got a quick first lap. But that's really pretty poor from uh, that driver. So Gasly's done his. Goes up to fifth. You know, he set out really, really early. And uh, was that beneficial for the Frenchman? We'll have to find out. It's two green sectors for Guan Yu Zhou. That is really good for the Chinese driver. Green sector two for Fernando Alonso as well. As we come down the long straight in Miami here, I'm sure we'll see a lot of overtaking uh, at this point. So time's coming in. Alonso drops below Ocon and Norris, but could potentially beat both of them. Vettel is going out. He can't improve on his time. Verstappen jumps to the top of the time board. I was expecting that to happen. Guan Yu Zhou then coming around the final few corners as we get a message saying that we need to refuel. Guan Yu Zhou is going to set a personal best. It does look like... And Guan Yu Zhou doesn't get out of Q2. He sits in 12th position. Alonso just ahead of him. Can Alonso improve on his time as he's going to come down the start finish straight now? Alonso over the line and he does improve. And there are drivers below him. That is five drivers below Alonso. Alonso's into Q3. Come on, Fernando. Lovely stuff there. And that is qualifying over because Gasly's just doing a slow lap now. I can't believe he's going to improve that much. But Fernando Alonso is into Q3. This is amazing. We're going to have someone in the top 10. We're going to have someone in the top 10. Fernando Alonso. What a driver. And Joe is in 12th as well. That is really impressive from both drivers. All of our upgrades coming into effect here in Miami. Absolutely amazing stuff there. Fernando Alonso. Oh, 12th. I'm well happy with that with Joe. He's improved there really well. And Alonso does really well now. Now do we have the rain? It is saying start on intermediate. So, okay, we'll start on intermediates. Let's go out there. Let's manage this. Check the weather. See what it's going to do. First thing we do is pause. Get into the weather. Yeah, yeah it's never really going to get into full wets, but we sort of want to go when the intermediates are going to be quickest. So I think we need to go out straight away. We're going to send Fernando out literally immediately and uh, get him on his... Quick lap as Gasly comes to join us. He knows the plan here. And the rain has started. The rain has started. 2.12. So it could get into full wets. It could go. It could do. As DRS is enabled. I'm going to assume everyone, yeah, everyone's on intermediate. So, okay, let's uh, let's see how Alonso does. 0 0.1 off Gasly. I'm expecting Alonso to finish near the bottom in Q3. But so far, so good for the Spaniard. Right. What is, is it going to come down at all? Now, it's over four millimetres, so it's saying full wet, which means you're not going to set a better time, really. We could just go out in the full wet and see what it does. I don't think, uh, let's cancel that. Let's just, actually, yeah, let's, let's confirm we don't want to change anything. So we're here. It's going to drop a tiny bit and then go back up. So we're in full wet territory, 4.18. If we time this right, it may just dip below four where the intermediates might work. Let's try it. I don't think we're going to get a faster time either way. Whether we do whether we do wets or intermediates, I don't think we're going to do a fast time. So let's put the intermediates on. We'll put a fresh set of intermediates on. It's not going to rain for the race. So we'll put them on. Yeah, the track has now changed to wet. But what I want to see is if that millimetre drops. Is it going to drop below 4? 4.3? 4.25? No, now it's going back up. 
So it's going to be full wet. So we'll just get Fernando into those full wets. We'll send him out straight away. And I think that'll be it. Because in Oh, wait on. Wets. Yeah, get the full wets on. Car parts are fine. Car setup is fine. We know that. The run plan. Yeah, flying laps one. Confirm. Right. So we're going to send out Alonso right now in the wet weather tyres. Um, I can't imagine anyone's going to set... They're all going to come out on wet, so I can't imagine anyone's going to set any quicker times. Alonso will be the first one to start his flying lap in full wets, though. As he comes through, down the long straight, round the corner he goes. Yeah, we need to refuel, we know. And he's going to cross the line. I don't think he's going to improve. He really shouldn't do. As Bottas runs wide, 0.681 to improve off the leader. And no one's going to set a quicker time. Uh, that's the checkered flag on the session. No one's going to beat their previous time. So it's going to be 8th for Fernando Alonso on the grid, which I'm very happy about. 8th and 12th, lovely. So race day in cloudy weather apparently here. And uh, finish position, they say predicted position is 7th for Alonso. I'm not going to do that one, I don't think. I feel like that's a little bit... Can we go lower than that? No, we can't. So I think we're going to take that one off. I'm not confident about getting... Getting those positions up there. We do have two two drivers finishing above 15th, which I'm happy about. Right then, into the strategy. The bit everyone loves. Into the strategy. Okay. They're saying medium to hard you can do it as a one stop, but I imagine again if you try and push at all, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna get anything out of that. So if we went um, medium push hards, add a new stint. Uh, I'd like to push the hards a little bit. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Push the hards a little bit. Like that. Onto the softs, they won't make it. We don't have another set of mediums. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Don't push the hards. End on full push softs. Is that a bit pointless if you're doing, if you're doing that stint? Do you want to just do a one stop? No, there's going to be a safety car. There's definitely going to be a safety car in this. Because it's Miami and it's a tight circuit. So, I think we will get rid of that one. Let's start on the... Let's start as if it's a one-stop and plan it. And I'm going to assume there's going to be a safety car because Miami is a terrible... In fact, we're so high up. We're starting so far up the grid. We're going to do it the other way around. Start on the hards and then we'll play it with the strategy if there's a safety car. So, that's what Alonso is going to do. Hard to medium. Now, Guan Yu Zhou, I'm very tempted to put him on a, a two-stop. Up in 12th. Medium, hard, soft, but I'm going to mix this up a bit. Ooh, soft, soft, hard, soft. That is tempting. That is very, very tempting. Can you even, can you make those hards last? Oh, you might. Let's go like that. Can you make that last? I think you can get that to last, right? You want to go make sure you can push. Can you push these softs? You can, yeah. Guan Yu Zhou is going soft, hard, soft. Soft, hard, soft for Guan Yu Zhou. Sorted. Done. I'm making my decisions early now, people. Making my decisions early. Again, we're going to just try and get them to push as much as they can. Then we'll bring the tyres back in line. Fuel. Again, I'm sort of thinking there's going to be a safety car. So we're going to under-fuel it by, what was that, 2 point, well, 1.9 kilos. Here we go then. Start the race. Miami. The Miami Grand Prix then. Clouds in the sky. Um, it's not the bright sunny. It is a sunny day, but it's not brightly bright, bright and sunny. So Joe on the softs. And Alonso on the hards. We are focusing on Fernando Alonso. Up into 8th. Well, he was in 8th. But Sainz is going to fight him here for 8th. Sainz had the inside. Then Alonso gets it back. And uh, Verstappen. Is that Verstappen just in front? It is Verstappen just in front. Now, I am expecting Sainz to overtake Alonso pretty easily. What's everyone's tyre situation? Medium, hard, hard, hard. Medium, me medium, hard, hard, hard. Medium, medium, soft. Medium, hard, medium, medium. So everyone doing medium, hards. So maybe a couple of two-stoppers in there if they're on... Hard, medium to hard, maybe someone's going hard to medium as well, medium, hard, medium potentially, in there we'll have to see how that goes, as Alonso looks to go past Verstappen, Joe is uh, doing well in 12th he's battling away, which is good we just need to uh, remember, right we're, we're going to get Joe onto the standard straight away Alonso's on the hard, so he can he can make this out as much as he wants, as Joe is battling there with Esteban Ocon and Esteban Ocon has got round the Chinese driver but we know he's not going to be out of it just yet. It looks like he's actually been fighting Ocon for a while. So back to Alonso. I sort of feel like we need to make these tyres last. So we may drop into standard in just a sec. Because you can see 97%. He's already a percent below 
everyone else. So let's drop him into standard, and uh, we'll see how this unfolds. He is making a move on Max Verstappen. Can he get it done? He can get it done. Fernando Alonso, the two times world champion, is fighting the wonder kid of Max Verstappen as uh, Joe does get the position back on Ocon, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, we're in a good position here. So neutral, neutral. I still think we're going to be okay in... Uh, let's see how Joe got on con. I think we'll be okay with fuel. There's got to be a safety car, man. So many people crashed in practice and then Magnussen crashed in qualifying. As that's the soft tyres looking like they're going to give him a bit of an edge there, Guan Yu Zhou. So, uh, lovely stuff. So, DRS has just been enabled and Guan Yu Zhou is on the back of Fernando Alonso. And I sort of want to say let Zhou go because he's, he's on the quicker strategy, right? So, I think we say don't fight teammate. Get that switch done in a good position there we go right done that is now done and Guan Yu Zhou will let him through and can go I'm happy with that little swap as well both in DRS both gonna pull again pull each other along I am very very happy with how that's worked I think that's the right thing to do because Zhou's on the quicker tire so we know Alonso's on the hard tire we'll let Zhou go through keep the pressure on Carlos Sainz ahead of him but both drivers up in the points although uh, Alonso has lost a couple of places from his starting spot Joe has gained a lot on those soft tyres, so I'm hoping that we can make this work. Norris is very close on the back of Alonso, but Alonso should get pulled along by Joe. Joe shouldn't really lose track. Uh, Alonso shouldn't lose track of Joe, and Joe hopefully keeps up with Carlos Sainz in these early stages. Okay, so on to lap seven, uh, Fernando Alonso has just set the fastest lap. We got him to push his, uh, his ERS a little bit. Um, and it worked to get him away from Gasly. They were fighting a little bit. So he's put a bit of a gap between them. Recall up to Joe, who's still on the trail of signs. Doing a really good job on these tyres, Guan Yu Zhou. And, yeah, both drivers doing really well. It's ninth, eighth and ninth at the moment. It's lovely stuff. So we have a yellow flag in Sector 1. I'm not too sure who it was. As Gasly has overtaken Alonso again. These two fighting has meant that uh, Joe's put some space in us. Lando Norris has had a bit of a spin he was behind us you can just see the two uh you can see alonso there it's a big spin in the middle that's gonna really cost him the young english driver for mclaren has dropped into 19th place after that which is not good for mclaren at all lovely stuff for us though we've still got drivers uh eighth for guan yu Zhou, just starting to lose a bit of pace from carlos Sainz. i don't think he had drs in that stage either and alonso hanging on the back of gasly but at the moment good driving from both both drivers so Guan Yu Zhou's tyres may be just giving up a little bit here. He's lost a lot of time to uh, to Carlos Sainz. I think what we're going to do is try and push both drivers into, into getting them away. But we're also going to keep telling Alonso to not fight. Don't fight Guan Yu Zhou. Just get up behind him and get that DRS. Because to be fair, the longer we can make Alonso's tyres last, the better as well. So both using the energy hopefully pulls them back in towards a bit range of Carlos signs, but you would expect signs in Verstappen and, and these drivers up here to just pull away from uh, Guan Yu Zhou and his little Aston Martin. And there we have it. First safety car is here as it was expected. So we'll just get all of this stuff done. Uh, I've got a feeling Zhou is very close to his pit window, so we may take this opportunity to bring Guan Yu Zhou in. Let's just find out what's actually happened here as the safety car is out. We can save the fuel. Um, for now, we'll just ignore it. We've had someone crash on track. Is there anyone tumbling down the order? Stroll! Lance Stroll! Obviously, it was Lance Stroll. Let's just have a quick look. So, no one is near the pits. Okay, everyone's gone past the pit. Stroll is out. Let's see what he's done. So, Lance Stroll having a little bit of a battle here with a Haas. Gets overtaken. The Williams is looking to make a move. Locks up. Goes straight on. Smashing into the barrier. Ruins his front ring. And that is Lance Stroll out now. Okay, so, so, strategies. Guan Yu Zhou, both drivers have a long way to go, but we do get basically a free pit stop here. So if we bring, if we bring those mediums to what is basically now, oh, you don't have another set of mediums either, and the softs definitely won't make it to the end. <sighs> Maybe it's come a little bit too early? I think it's come a little bit too early. So we leave Alonso as he is. Guan Yu Zhou. Now it could make a difference for Guan Yu Zhou. If we don't push those softs at the end. And get Guan Yu Zhou on a slightly faster tyre of the mediums. 
Nah, it's not going to work, is it? It's just not going to stretch out. No, I feel like both drivers stay as they are, although that seems like a little bit of a... I mean, you could technically put the mediums on, change the strategy like that, put the mediums on and go a bit harder. Yeah, maybe we do that. Let's get Joe onto the hard now. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so, Joe, pit. Pit options. He's done really well on those soft tyres. Pit this lap onto the hards. Under the safety car. Alonso stays out. Both of them should be harvesting and all that good stuff. Let's uh, let's see how this unfolds. So we're just going to... Obviously, everyone's going to catch the safety car. But Joe's going to come in. Lose a couple of places, but be on much fresher tyres. Doesn't go right into the back. 17th. So uh, let's see how this works. The safety car's going to do a whole nother lap. Which is good. Good for us. ERS fully charged for Guan Yu Zhou. It's going to be fully charged for Fernando on this lap, I reckon. Safety car's coming in, but I can't imagine they're going to... Because they've, they've got to get around this corner, I think. So, Right. As a long, uh, he's just starting to make his move. So push, push, attack, attack, push, deploy. And uh, let's jump in with... Guan Yu Zhou. Oh, he's right up the inside of whoever that is. Sonoda in front of him. So we're going to get into racing conditions now. Alonso is up in eighth, but we're going to focus on Zhou because I imagine he is going to, on fresher tyres, hopefully we'll get through quite a number of these cars early on. We sort of need him to. I know we've pitted him early. But uh, yeah, he needs to make this work. Alonso's got 2% worse wear than everyone else. And Guan Yu Zhou can get these... Yeah, all the way up to lap 41. It may be a bit of a strategy error, but we can always pit at the same time as everyone else on hards if, if we want to and know that they're going to be pitting onto the mediums as well. So it's going to be interesting, but we'll ride on board with Guan Yu Zhou after the safety car restart. Can he get past the Williams and the Haas of Nico Hülkenberg? Come on, come on, Guan Yu Zhou. You've got to make easy meter this lot. He's trying to get round, but he's not really making it happen at the moment. You can hear you can hear him going flat out. I hope that comes through. I'm not sure if it will because I've got the volume of the game turned down over the recording. He's going up the inside of Sonoda. Doesn't quite make it stick. And uh, I think he will get them next time. Alonso still has the fastest lap. And he has already put a massive gap between him and Pierre Gasly, which is absolutely awesome. So I think what we'll do is just get him to okay ease off. Although Gasly's now back in range. But Carlos Sainz is going to pull us along when DRS is in there as well. Right, Guan Yu Zhou. Can he get this done on Yuki Tsunoda? On the hard tyres. He's trying down this really long straight. We're really pushing with him. And I think he is going to get that done. Because the next corner is a left. Don't lock up. Oh my word, he nearly did. Nearly went straight into the back of Nico Hulkenberg. Hard on the brakes means that Tsunoda can potentially get that place back. And Tsunoda does. Tsunoda gets the elbows out a little bit more than Guan Yu Zhou. Maybe a bit overly aggressive there from Guan Yu Zhou. And it's very annoying that he hasn't got those places back on the drivers in front of him. Yeah, that is uh, that is irritating. He needed to make those spots up pretty quickly, to be honest. And he hasn't. He needs to get that done in the first couple of laps. And well, he's just been left behind a little bit here. We're going to keep Alonso on deploy. Let's go and watch Alonso for a little bit. Just to make sure he stands right on the back of Carlos Sainz like he okay. needs to. But at the moment, 16 laps in, Alonso's in a great position. Joe, it's a strategy risk, but we're going to see how it unfolds. We do need to get him to ease those tyres down a bit in a sec. As uh, Alonso's trying to make up the space. Joe, on the back of Sonoda again. Let's get him to deploy down this straight, but then also save his tyres and his fuel. So, see what he can do. Let's pop him into overtake, just to see if it makes a difference as he comes down. He's going to be coming into the long straight pretty soon. So hopefully you can use that overtake button to get past Sonoda and Hulkenberg because you need to get that done because Vettel is pulling away from Nico Hulkenberg and that is going to be a big issue as Alonso right on the back of Sainz again so we can drop him back to neutral, just manage that battery a bit. Alonso is doing a great job of keeping up with those front runners. Really, really good. As uh, he's trying to get that done with the overtake button. Can he make it stick this time? Can he make it stick? It, this one looks better. Yeah, there we go. Squeezes him out onto the other side. Albon into pit. So people are going to start pitting. Oh, Joe, you add him, and then you let him past again. So Albon pitting from the mediums. So everyone that was running on the mediums is going to be coming in pretty soon. 
Okay, so we should jump up positions now with Guan Yu Zhou. So, okay, first pitter in is Albon, and that is interesting. I mean, another safety car would be pretty massive for us, to be honest. But at the moment, Alonso's doing a good job, and Zhou is... We've just got to wait for the tactical battle to unfold, although he has overtaken Norris somehow. Okay, DRS open meant that Zhou made really easy work of Sonoda and Hulkenberg on the straights. And he's back up into 14th, which is awesome. Um, he's in a good position. He's right on the back of Sebastian Vettel, who apparently is one second ahead of him. But I won't believe that because he's literally just here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure how that equates to a second. But we'll find out. Oh, no, 0.6. Sorry, Vettel is uh, not close enough to Ricardo and Magnussen. So, yes, again, we're in a decent position. Position. We're not doing too badly in this race. Alonso's going to be pitting when all the other hard runners pit. Some of the mediums staying out a little bit longer than Albon did. He's gone for a huge undercut. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how this one unfolds. So, Joe still on the charge has got the Aston... Uh, no, has got the ex-Aston Martin driver of Sebastian Vettel in his new Alpine. Leasley done down the straight again. The Aston Martin showing its straight line speed that we've really looked to improve, actually, in the, uh, in the early part of this season. And, yeah, a really good move. A really good move from Guan Yu Zhou as everyone in the pit was uh, delighted with that one. So up into 13th, he's now got to go and put a bit of pressure on uh, K-Mag without knackering out his tyres. So let's get him on. In fact, let's... Yeah, we'll put him on deploy, see if we can break the uh, the gap to Vettel a little bit. We need to make it work. So, and as long as we get back into K-Mag and get that DRS, then we I'm going to be much more confident of keeping off the back of, uh, of, of Vettel, keeping Vettel behind. So we're putting a good gap to Vettel at the moment. Just got to hope that Guan Yu Zhou can deploy that battery sensibly and make that gap bigger and get in towards the uh, K-Mag DRS. That would be huge. But yeah, 21 laps in, still no, the only people that have pitted so far are us and Albon, and we're in a pretty good position with Zhou now. I'm pretty happy with this. So someone's locked up on track. There's a yellow flag in Sector 1. I don't think it's a safety car, but Guan Yu Zhou, driven superbly well, has now caught up. There is a crash. There is a crash. It's not. It's Sonoda on turn 17 in the Williams, under pressure from Lando Norris behind him, who had that very early spin. And uh, he just locks up, can't control it into the barrier. That's going to be a new front wing for Yuki Sonoda, who's gone into the pits. But yeah, Guan Yu Zhou's now caught up and got on the back of this DRS train ahead, which is absolutely brilliant from the Chinese man. The Ch Chinese man? Chinaman, I think it would be. Uh, Alonso just about keeping hold of Bottas, who is now losing time on signs. So all in all, again, we're in a good position here. It's really not going too bad. And people now coming into pits. Signs pits. Joe up to 12th, getting K-Mag there on the back of Danny Ricardo. So, yes, yeah, Signs is in. Going on to the medium tyre, is that? I think it is the medium tyre. So he must be the first hard runner that's coming in. Or he's doing medium, medium, soft, maybe, if he was on the mediums before. That's my terrible memory coming into play there to suggest what we've gone what we've done in terms of tire wear Alonso's still in with the sort of rest of the hard runners up here so his strategy is working okay Joe's gonna go obviously as we know running a lot longer than uh, than other people on the two stop so it's just whether other people do the two stop that's gonna be the thing with Grand New Joe that's gonna be the tester let's have a quick check in with Alonso who finds himself 1.5 seconds off the back of Bottas who's fighting Leclerc uh, let's deploy the battery just so that Alonso can try and close that gap. I'm not too worried because Gasly's like 7.7 .7 seconds behind. So, yeah, Alonso's having a good race so far. Guan Yu Zhou trying to overtake Daniel Ricciardo but can't get it done. At the moment, it's very awkward when you've got to focus on two drivers. I missed the Vesti days where he crashed and he just focused on Seb. But uh, also in a very good position here because we've nearly got two drivers back into the points, which is absolutely massive. Okay, so Alonso's massive uh, ERS drop has got him in touch with Bottas and Leclerc. Lots of people now coming into pit, so Joe gets the benefit of that as he's still battling and gets past Daniel Ricciardo as we go and watch him live and is on the back of Esteban Ocon, with who's got a nine-second gap to Fernando Alonso. As it looks like Joe might get Ocon there on the inside. Don't think it's going to happen on this lap. But yeah, lots of people now coming into pit. And... Uh, Let's just have a quick check of the strategy. Yeah, so Alonso's got quite a lot of time to go on these hards. He'll get on the mediums. And uh, Joe's managing these well enough to end on the mediums with a little bit of a push as well. So we should be in a pretty good position here. And so we're just going to stay with Joe here because Joe, on his less worn tyres, is round the outside 
of Esteban Ocon, which is absolutely massive. I've got a feeling now Joe may have just given up DRS and, and then give that to Ocon, so he'll probably overtake him back. But that is a wonderful move from Guan Yu Zhou. In fact, let's get him deploying to see if he can pull away as he comes around these uh, these corners here. Because the car in front of him is Fernando Alonso, which which is very interesting. So now all we've got the hard runners ahead. Uh, Guan Yu Zhou's already drained all of his battery. So, yeah, these two are going to have DRS. But hopefully that little battery deployment is going to get him away. Alonso, 47% hards. We know he's going to come in soon. Verstappen now pits from his hards. So do we pit... Oh, this is the interesting thing. Verstappen's coming off the hards really, really early. Are you telling me Verstappen's going to get those mediums all the way to the end? Absolutely no chance. We're not pitting yet. We're not falling for that one, Max. We're not falling for that one, mate. We are staying out here as uh, Ocon pits in. Verstappen, Joe stays out. So this is Joe's long, sort of longer game strategy coming into play here. And uh, Joe's going to go up to sixth with Verstappen pitting. Alonso sits nicely in fifth. Yeah, we're in a good good shape here. I'm feeling good about this. As we come back to the race, Alonso is leading this Grand Prix. So everyone else thinks they can get from here to the end on medium. Something I'm really not sure about. We are sticking to the one-stop strategy with Fernando Alonso because he's done a really good job. But at the moment, it's Alonso in one and Joe in two, which is massive. Which is absolutely massive. So yeah, look. Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, Perez, Leclerc, Bottas, all on mediums. There's no way they get those to the end, right? Because we're not pushing our mediums when we go on them. Wow, okay. They're, I think that's a risky move from the AI. Let's see uh, Let's see how that unfolds. As I'm going to assume that is now a pit for everyone other than Fernando Alonso. Yes, it is. So far, everyone other than Alonso with at least one stop. And he is all on his own out in front and he's got to make these tires just last what's that another nine ten laps and then he gets onto the medium so so far so good for aston martin so lap 29 the the group behind joe are just starting to catch up to him so what we're going to say is uh hold up the cars behind let alonso go really really far away as far as he can uh and joe do sort of take one for the team i know with drs some of them will fly past him but i feel like if he can make that car as big as he can on the straights he can probably just lower the pace a little bit look at him holding up for Stappen already give up give Alonso the chance to just escape get away as much as he can he's gonna cause such a lock up here We're not okay on fuel. you're not okay on fuel you've got bloody ages to go yeah it's only 0 0.8 calm down calm down um but yeah so Alonso uh, for Stappen is not gonna get past him with DRS Surely down this massive straight they're all going to get past, which I don't mind. He's done a great job of holding them up. As he gets, Verstappen gets through. His sign's going to get through as well. Oh, oh. I mean, Joe's doing I really appreciate this from Grand Yu Joe. A superb teammate job here holding up the other drivers. Yes, Verstappen's through, but Alonso's got seven seconds on Verstappen. How long has he got? One, uh, so what, that was one, two, three, four, five more laps, Fernando. Five more laps to really put it in. Guan Yu Zhou, hold them up for five more laps. Because Verstappen will close the gap in Alonso, that's fine. But Zhou, look at him, making that car as wide as possible. I really don't mind what Zhou's doing here. Absolutely love it. Okay, so Zhou is now... Um, he's, hold, he's held them up enough. One another car's got through. So now what we're going to do is not say hold cars back and he can actually try and battle with them a little bit. So hopefully he hangs on the DRS a little bit longer than what he was before but he's done a great job a really good job Verstappen's closed the gap to three seconds to Alonso that was always going to happen but uh, he is getting close to his pit window so we're in a decent position here Alonso's still out in front um it's going to be it's going to be very interesting to see where we come out we will drop but obviously we're just doing a one stop so and I want to get to that optimal lap what's he on 37 percent I really want to get to that optimal lap and make this strategy work if we can so Leclerc is overtaken, Joe and Hamilton has got Alonso, but we're going to do one more lap. I'm just wondering, actually. Quick pause. If we pit him in this lap, it's... Oh, he's... oh yeah, okay. So it's going to be... It's going to be this lap. Um, where is he on the thing? So he's going to come in. We could... He's got one more lap to go. Do we just stick with it, or do we try and get him in? Because his times are really falling away, but he's going to have so much more tyre left than everyone else. No, do you know what? We stick with it. We stick with the strategy. 
We stick with the strategy, I think, is what we do here. Because Hamilton's got him. He, I, I know optimal pit stop. So, yeah, open pit options, onto the mediums, pit this lap. Stick with it as it is, because he's got DRS. So let's push those tyres a little bit more. He's not going to like it. But I think we push those tyres and just give Alonso as much as he can. Because Joe is on 54. So he's going to come in again rel what, relatively soon. Yeah, he's got like 11 more laps to go for his strategy. So, okay. Again, it, I don't know how this is going to plan out. But we've done a really good job from both drivers here. Joe done a great job of holding people up. And now he's fallen back a little bit. Bottas right on his tail. But, yeah, overall, I'm not... I mean, you've got to be happy at the moment. With how the strategy should work, I think you've got to be happy. Right, so Fernando Alonso is now coming in to the pit. So lots of people will pass him. I'm fully aware of that. Uh, Alonso comes in. This is a terrible view as the pit entrance. But there he is. Right. Come on. Come on, Fernando. Just a good little pit stop here. That's all we need. Just a good pit stop. Gasly is five seconds away. Gasly jumps him. Although that could be just an error with how the track layout is. Alonso's out. 2.6. It's not bad. It's not bad. This is Alonso's only stop in this race. And I am 30.4. God, it's a long pit stop, isn't it? So Alonso down in 14th. But going to come out on fresh tyres. And can just see this through to the end. And if there's a safety car, then we reevaluate. This is a terrible view, Codemasters. Or Frontier, I should say. As uh, So there he is. Fernando Alonso comes out. Three seconds off Magnussen. No, one second off Magnussen. And if he can jump Magnussen and then get into that DRS of Ocon, jump him, hit Ricardo, get back into this DRS train with much fresher tyres. It's going to be really... Uh, surely they've got to pit again. Surely everyone has to pit again. I mean, we, we wait and find out. As I like to say on this series, let's see how it unfolds. Okay, right. These tyres from Alonso are absolutely magical against everyone else. He's already caught... K-Mag up um, is going to have DRS straight away. So I think Alonso is going to be in a pretty good position here. It's just how quickly can he catch the, the likes of Gasly um, ahead, who's 6, 9, what's that, 13 seconds ahead roughly. He should be able to do it before the end of the race. And I do think everyone's going to pit. So we just manage it. We manage it and, and hope it works. As we're on board with Alonso, he's going to try and get this move done. And, uh, well, he's yeah, just putting in a good bit of defence there, K-Mag. He's, he's not a bad driver, K-Mag, especially in this game. He does outperform that Haas pretty well. Is, uh, is that Nico Hulkenberg behind us? It is Nico Hulkenberg behind us. But I'm expecting Alonso to pass K-Mag pretty, pretty rapidly. Um, Stroll so far, the only driver out and the only safety car cause. So that's a bit of a rarity. How is uh, Zhou doing? He's sort of in a little world of his own, old Guan Yu Zhou, which, again, don't I don't mind, to be honest. And there goes... Fernando Alonso, so we're going to just get his fuel on conserve and see if he can get that back in line with where it should be pretty quickly. Although it's yellow there, which normally means he's all good. Normally means he's all good, baby, when it's yellow there. So now that we're past K-Mag, hopefully we can hunt down uh, Esteban Ocon. In fact, do you know what? I'm not going to conserve the fuel just yet. No need. Okay, so Guan Yu Zhou is pitting this lap. Um, his hards are just falling off a little bit, but it is the ultimate... And the optimal lap, sorry, for his pit. So he's going to come in. So Alonso is still on the charge. As you can see, he's easily caught up Ocon and Ricardo. Um, and now Guan Yu Zhou is going to drop a few places, as to be expected. He's out of the pits. No, he's not. He's not even done his pit stop yet, Dave. You're an idiot. But uh, he's in. It needs to be a good stop. 2.8. It's not the best. It's not the best. He's going to come out ahead of Schumacher. But he can push those tyres when he's out. Alonso still battling... Here with these two. I'm sort of going, I'm sort of thinking deploy, get them past him, and then we'll charge up as Joe is out. So he's just got to sit on attack okay, on those tyres for the rest of the race. And then go and make up these places as best he can. And hopefully this strategy with these drivers works out. Everyone's, they've all got a pit again. There's no way they're getting to the end on those tyres. Surely. Surely not. As Alonso with deploy... As he's coming around these corners, it's not really working for him at the moment. And he's in he's in range, so we're actually just going to pop it onto overtake for this big long straight and see if he can get something done with the DRS and the ERS. Can he make this work as he comes around this corner? Now deploy it. Deploy it, get right up behind them. And get that 
get that DRS open and see. They both go defensive. Oh, they're pitting. They are pitting. Everyone's pitting. Oh, my word. This could be amazing. And he gets one, and he's going to get both. Is he going to get both of them? He's not quite going to get Daniel Ricciardo as Ocon's on the inside. Ricciardo really makes that car wide and slows everyone down. He comes into the pits, and now this is where our strategy should come into play, to be honest. It may mess up Joe, because obviously he's pitted at a similar time to everyone else. But yeah, Fernando Alonso on the back of Ocon. Signs, Bottas, Ricciardo, and Hulkenberg all come into pit. We're still trying to get past bloody Esteban Ocon here, who's now not going to have DRS. So it should be quite an easy pass on the next one. Joe, up to 15th, overtaking Ricardo and Hulkenberg in the pits. Can't quite match anyone else that comes into the pits. But yeah, these guys are all going to pit again. And it could put us in a very good... Verstappen's in a great spot. 98% softs. And everyone else is going to pit again. But you look down that list. I think Alonso may may get the jump on some people here we could have a potential podium if this plans out i think it will we just gotta make sure we do it so coming down here with fernando alonso i mean these guys can all pit and come out in front of grand Nujo, but alonso will pass them in the pits and that is the crucial thing that we need here and then a late safety car potentially means soft tires for alonso he's got a spare set as russell comes into pit now Hamilton stays out, as you'd expect. Perez comes in as well. Can Alonso get all these people in the pits? It's going to be pretty close, actually. It's going to be very close between Alonso and these drivers here because he's got a couple of corners to navigate as That's it. Russell has pitted. And Alonso's going to come around. I think, I think Russell and Perez are just going to stay ahead. Looks like I, think, I think they're just going to stay ahead. Which is really, really irritating. Russell getting to the end of the pit lane. Alonso's coming round. And there is... Oh, there's Perez and Russell both ahead. Uh, we know that Albon and Gasly are both going to pit again. There's no way they make them last. Hamilton. Actually, Hamilton hasn't pitted. Neither has Leclerc. Okay. And the good thing about coming out here is that we, we get uh, DRS off uh, Checo Perez. So... We're in a good point there. Fuel is looking a little bit iffy now that it's gone into the red. So we just need to keep... Um, an eye on that. I'm actually going to say potentially. Let's conserve for both of you just for a little bit to get that number back into the white and then we'll uh, we'll crack on because we are in DRS here. Joe isn't in DRS but I'm pretty sure everyone ahead of him has the pit right other than Bottas and Sainz and us and Perez. Everyone else is going to pit. So I, honestly I don't know what's going to happen with Joe here. It's going to be it's going to be weird. It's going to be odd but I'm hoping it works out. So here we go then. Leclerc pits. Alonso up to sixth. Joe, I don't think he's going to be able to get him. But we are bringing the fuel right back in line. As uh, Joe has caught Albon in the pit. So Joe goes up. That is good. We're in a good spot. Alonso up to sixth. Gasly and Hamilton still to pit in front of us. Okay. Ocon might make... No, Ocon won't make, make those last, will he? Alon the, these definitely make it, don't they? Yeah, they definitely make it on this strategy. And uh, Joe's definitely make it on his strategy as well so okay all good at the moment i just need to get this back into the white and then go back to normal fuel consumption and hopefully we're in we're in spot we're in position a as we say so Guan Yu Zhou battling heavily with uh sebastian vettel and lando norris and again if he can pass these two and then he's got a big gap to k mag in front but yeah, I just keep checking the tyres. They're definitely going to pit. Albon's gone to the softs to end the race, so he could be flying through towards the end. He's done what? Medium hard soft, I think Albon's done. Um, yeah, Alonso up in eighth. He got overtaken by Sainz and Ocon snuck through as well with DRS, but we are on the back. Oh, they're back in fuel range, so get that back to balanced. And uh, you're pretty much there as well, so we'll stick you on balanced, and then we should be good to battle. But a huge DRS train forming here. Let's see what Alonso can do, because where's the gap? Yeah, it's Gasly holding everyone up. Okay, we're doing we're doing all right. We're in a good position here. We're in a good position. Okay, Joe overtakes Vettel, and Norris is now trying to hunt down Magnussen. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to have to ask Joe to basically push his life out here with his deploy. Uh, really rinse his battery so that he can get away from Vettel, which may be a mistake, because he's probably going to get, get him, not right now, but maybe down the long straight, you'd imagine Vettel. We'll get him with the uh, with the uh, with ERS and DRS, but yeah, Alonso holding on. He's got Leclerc and Bottas right behind him. 
I'm, I'm now worried that Hamilton's going to make those last, as is Gasly. They've really drawn those hearts out well, if they do. I mean, yeah, they've done a good job. Maybe we just get Alonso now to harvest up a little bit, because he's going to get DRS here. So, oh, it's, it's, this, is, this is tense. This is tense. Okay, so Alonso's done a whole lap of charging. He's got a 60% battery and a lot of charge already, and nothing deployed so far. So we are in a good position here with Fernando Alonso, because he's just hanging on to DRS. Or ERS, I should say. And I think he may have a good attack at Ocon. Because the, 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 the quicker cars have got past Gasly now. We are on the faster tyre as well. Which should help us out. It should help us out. But, you know, you can never trust these sort of things. As you can see, our, our DRS is just keeping Leclerc and Bottas behind us. We are deploying now. And you can see us really gaining in on these two. Who are both on the hard tyre. And yeah, they've probably got a similar sort of percentage to us, but we are on a faster tyre, so it should count for something. Uh, Guan Yuzhou doing a great job, up to 12th, trying to close the gap on Magnussen. Um, again, in a little world of his own at the moment, so let's just whack him on deploy, get him to use that battery and try and close the gap. Is there anyone else going to pit here? S six laps to go, maybe Magnussen can make it? Probably can, I think this is sort of as it is, and then it's just going to be tactical. Is Alonso trying to make the move? Trying to make the move. And can he get this one to stick on Esteban Ocon? Yes, I think he can. Keep your position here, Fernando. Lovely stuff. Right, now go and get Pierre Gasly. Now go and get Pierre Gasly in that Alpha Tauri. You know you can do it. He hasn't got DRS. You will. In fact, let's harvest up again while we've got the DRS. While we're in the DRS zone. And we'll go for another one lap of harvest. And then pop it to deploy. So hopefully we can get past him and just burn over a second into the uh, into the gap as well. Fuel's looking good on both drivers. Tyres are looking good on both drivers. Uh, only the one safety car. Joe has actually got... Okay, interesting. Joe's got some tyres to play with there. Let's pop him into attack. Get him to We're just going to get him to deploy as soon as he's got sort of any battery to play with. As, uh, yeah, we're hunting down the Alpha Tauri of Pierre Gasly here. Six or five laps to go. Six laps to go. And uh, we're, we're putting a good stand here. Leclerc has now also got past Ocon. And he's just about to get past us as we're on board. Although we may have the inside here. Although Leclerc getting past, I'm not too fussed about. That's not our battle, really. Again, if we hang on the back of him and potentially follow him through past Pierre Gasly down this huge straight. Which we're going to do, hopefully, right now. Hopefully. Hopefully, Fernando. Come on. Hopefully. You got ERS, you got DRS. Get it done. Come on, get it done. Oh, he's not going to quite get it done. He may get Leclerc back. He does get Leclerc back. And is Pierre Gasly going to hold this one on? Let's deploy out through here. Got that one there. Is this another DRS zone? No, it's not. It is DRS now. So hopefully, can we catch Pierre here? We sort of left those people there. Alonso re-overtakes Leclerc. Again, sitting behind Pierre Gasly. Let's just round that one up. And there is Kevin Magnussen right in front of us. Wow, great job from Guan Yu Zhou. I don't think he's going to have quite enough to catch Bottas. And we are pushing those tyres pretty hard. So there is K-Mag. How's Alonso getting on? He's right on the back of uh, Pierre Gasly again as Leclerc gets past him this time. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. And... Um, has Joe got past Magnussen? No, little overtake failed there. So let's deploy here and see if they can. Can he catch him? He's not going to be able to catch him, is he? Man, you Joe, you could. You surely, Man, you Joe's got him on this straight with DRS. Surely, he's got you. You've got you, Man, you Joe. He's gone left. He's faked left and then gone right, and he's going to get him easily down that straight. And uh, there is the back of Pierre Gasly as Leclerc gets through. Now, can we? Get past Pierre Gasly in these opening couple of corners. I don't think either of us are going to be able to stay with Leclerc, to be honest. So, let's see how this works. Let's go into neutral. We don't need to push it too much just yet. Because we are right on the back of Pierre Gasly here. Five more laps to go. Fuel's looking good. I'm happy with that. Tyres are looking okay. And, uh, yeah, we're in a good spot here. We're in a... I'm, I'm happy with how it's Joe's raced really well. I, I think Bottas is probably just too far away from him. 
But we'll try our hardest to close that gap and then get rid of Magnuson as well. As uh, now we're coming down here, right, we're going to deploy in this section here. Go on, get that done against Pierre Gasly. Yes, lovely stuff. Now keep deploying and try and keep hold of Charles Leclerc to pull us away from Pierre Gasly. As at the moment, we are in range of Charles Leclerc for his uh, DRS, which is crucial to this strategy of getting away from Pierre Gasly. Get within a second. Get within a second, Fernando. Come on. Come on. Really push it. Really push it around this corner. Oh, he's not going to get it. And Pierre Gasly is. Pierre Gasly is quite a long way back, actually. Yeah, so we're doing all right. How is Joe getting on? It's now a, it's a 6.4 second gap to the cars in front who are battling. Are they battling with Gasly as well? They are battling with Gasly. That's going to help us out uh, with Alonso for sure. But yeah. Four laps to go. Four laps to go. I can't believe some of these people have made those tyres last as long as they have. 40% hard for Hamilton. We've pushed these. Alonso's been on these mediums for a long time. Gasly, 41%. Uh, Joe's on 49. So I think we may have to rein in his push. In, a, in fact, let's do that now. You're in a good position, Guan Yu Joe. So let's ju just keep you as you are. As we run ball with Alonso. Hasn't been able to keep up with Charles Leclerc, who's just absolutely left him for dead. Um, my worry now is that we're going to lose a spot in these last few laps to Gasly, potentially Otos, uh, Otos, Bottas and Ocon. But yeah, not many laps to go. Not many laps to go at all. So Pierre Gasly's going for a move on the outside. Fernando Alonso cuts him off very, very nicely. And now, oh, he's just been nudged out. That's going to slow him down. Gasly's going to get away with that. Gasly's going to really pull away. And that is killer because I think Gasly got the DRS off the back of us. Bottas right on our tail. We've just got to keep focus here with both drivers. With two more laps going. Guan Yu Zhou has just crashed. Unbelievable. I was just about to look at him and say he's driven so well he's catching up to K-Mag. Uh, to Ocon. He was... Oh, that is... <sighs> he's crashed. He's not injured. It's a safety car. But... Guan Yu Zhou, we were on board with you, mate. Terminal chassis damage. He's out. Guan Yu Zhou, you were driving so well. You were driving so well. You absolute moron. This is probably now going to finish under safety car, you would imagine. Because it's the last lap with Max Verstappen, which means Alonso is going to finish in eighth, which I'm pretty happy with. But I think we would have caught Pierre Gasly. I feel like we would have caught Pierre Gasly. As uh, where is Max Verstappen? He'll be right behind the safety car. And it's going to finish. It's going to be a damp squib and finish under safety car. There it is. Max Verstappen. Hulkenberg runs wide. Alonso's going to finish eighth, which I'm really happy about. But I think we could have got Gasly. And Guan Yu Zhou. Guan Yu Zhou. Oh, you're in a world of your own. Just had to get round the track. It's another. It's a good point haul for Alonso. But Guan Yu Zhou. Guan Yu Zhou. Your strategy was sort of working that we put you on. I mean, started 12, finished 12, basically, but. Oh, he crashes out. Strolling Joe. And he's our long-term man. I've said that. We've given him a three-season contract. He's our long-term man. We're going to stick with him. He drives so well. It's just that one little error. It's like classic Charles Leclerc of this season. Just one error absolutely ruins his race for him. So, Fernando Alonso started eighth, finishes eighth. I'm not too fussed with that. Guan Yu Zhou. Oh... I think he probably, he may have caught K-Mag. Maybe that's a bit adventurous. Unlucky. Unlucky, Guan Yu. Well, it's not unlucky. It's a stupid error. But Fernando Alonso does really well. He stays in ninth, four points. So he gains two points on Valtteri Bottas in front of him, uh, which is lovely stuff. And in the Constructors, uh, we score four points. Alfa Romeo only get two. So it's two points clawed back on Alfa Romeo. But uh, Alfa Tauri make a gain with six points in that one. So 16 points so far in the season. I am happy with that. But we do need Guan Yu Zhou to start. Start scoring and getting rid of these little errors. So Fernando Alonso gets his bonus of 510,000, which is absolute peanuts compared to Seb's 1.4 million that we were paying him last year. Uh, we do get quite a few bonuses. The performance guarantees uh, we miss out on finish position because I said two people above 15th, which we are comfortably on for. But uh, Guan Yu Zhou had, had other thoughts in mind. So a good hefty 4.7 million in the bank, though. That will definitely help.
Oh, lucky for Guan Yu Zhou, a new front wing's just been manufactured, which is good for him. Uh, right, onto the cars then. I'm sure it's going to fit that just automatically. So we've got uh, both of these fitted. It's put a new chassis on there. The front wing, it's put them both on there, but we're going to have to now manufacture uh, two more. Let's That's five days. Yeah, that'll be done before the next Grand Prix, just in case there's any issues. And uh, I think we need... Yeah, I remember seeing there was only... Yeah, we can do a rear wing as well. Just normal. That'll be on before the next Grand Prix as well. But all in all, pretty pretty decent. Not too bad. Uh, Victor Martins is an up-and-coming driver, apparently. Uh, we exceeded expectations, which is good. The board is still happy, even though we only had one finisher. Uh, I don't think we got any points in that one. No, no. And Oh, yeah. Drugovic gets another one. Uh, the ability to follow the racing line is actually as possible. This reduces the chance of a driver losing their losing time or their car taking damage from running wild while racing. That sounds very helpful, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Drugovic is coming along nicely, actually. We're going to, again, start doing that thing where we put him into every practice session. Grand Ujo, just... Oh, he should, he's an 80-rated driver, so he's not far off being really good. Fernando Alonso doing a lovely shot. Do we give him another contract? It's the Seb thing all over again. I'd love to keep Fernando in. I think he only wanted a one-year one, though, didn't he? So, we'll have to see how that falls. He may retire. But, um, yeah, there we go. Next up is Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, in uh, 11 days' time. So, we do have a bit of things to do. I'll do all of those off-camera, though, so don't you worry about it. I'll catch you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good jazz. See you soon. Cheers.